Hello friends, welcome back to our new video that is MCQs on developmental biology and this is the part 6 of this series of videos on this developmental biology topic. Okay, so let's start the question and answer session on developmental biology. So the first question of this video that is question number 101 and the question is the initial dorsal ventral axis in amphibian embryos is determined by option A the point of sperm entry, option B gravity, option C the point of contact with the uterus or option D genetic differences in the cells. So which one is the correct answer about the initial dorsal ventral axis in amphibian embryos is determined by option A that is it is determined by the point of sperm entry. So initial dorsal ventral axis in amphibian embryos is determined by the point of sperm entry. Okay. So let's move on to question number 102 and that is bones of vertebrates are derived from embryonic option A ectoderm, option B epiderm, option C mesoderm or option D endoderm and the right one is option C that is mesoderm. So, bones of vertebrates are derived from embryonic mesoderms, okay. And the next question is question number 103. So, if an embryo undergoes 13 cleavage divisions during embryogenesis, then the size of the embryo compared to zygote is increased 13 times or option B increases in an exponential fashion option c increases only six to seven times or option d remains almost the same so after 13 cleavage the size of the embryo size of the embryo compared to zygote will be option d remains almost same so if an embryo undergoes 13 cleavage division during embryogenesis then the size of the embryo compared to zygote remains almost same okay so next question is question number 104 so every neuron in the body develops from the neuronal tube that is option a or option b neural crest or option c ectoderm or option d endoderm and the right one is option c that is ectoderm so every neuron in the body develops from the ectoderm okay so the next question that is which of the following maternal effect gene products regulate production of anterior structure in drosophila embryo and the options are option a bicoid and nanos gene option b bicoid and Hunchback gene or option C bicoid and caudal gene or option D that is nanos and caudal gene. So which one is correct answer about the regulation regulate production of anterior structure in drosophila embryo and the right answer is option B that is bicoid and hunchback genes. So these two genes are the maternal effect gene products regulate production of anterior structure in drosophila embryo okay so let's move on to question number 106 so which of the following is a species specific protein of c urchin which plays important role in recognition during acrosomal reaction and the options are option a binding protein or binding protein option b abidin option c fertilin option d that is cortical granules and the right one is option a that is binding protein so this binding protein is a species specific protein of c urchin which plays important role in recognition during acrosomal reaction okay so next is question number 107 and embryo lacking bicoid is injected with bicoid mrna at middle portion so it will result into option a two heads and no tarsons option b head is middle and tarson at both ends option c oh sorry oh sorry this is option c so option c no head and tarson at both ends option d normal phenotype and the right one is option 
B. That is head in middle and tarsals at both ends. So an embryo lacking bicoid is injected with bicoid mRNA at middle portion. It will result into head in the middle and tarsals at the both end. Okay. So the next is question number 108. So if Hydra is fragmented into various parts, separate group of cells repattern themselves into small Hydra, such a mode of development is termed as option A regeneration, option B morpholaxis, option C epimorphogenesis or option D morpholaxis and epimorphogenesis and the right one is option B that is morpholaxis. So if Hydra is fragmented into various parts, separate group of cells repattern themselves into small Hydra. Such a mode of development is termed as morpholaxis. And here morpholaxis is a process that involves the regeneration of tissue in organisms due to the loss or death of existing tissue. So it is a type of regeneration that involves the repatterning of existing tissue to replace lost tissues. Okay. So the next one is option uh, question number 109. The major advantage of sexual reproduction is that it allows rapid generation of new genotypes due to recombination. Option B, it allows rapid transmission of hereditary traits compared to asexual reproduction or option C prevent transmission of defective traits or option D prevent loss of homozygosity. So which one is the major advantage of sexual reproduction and the right one is option A that is it allows rapid generation of new genotypes due to recombination that is the major advantage of sexual reproduction. Let's move on to question number 110. So in humans, an individual with an XXY chromosomal complement will develop as option A, a male, option B, a female, option C, an hermaphrodite or option D, a super female. And the right one is option A, that is a male. So in humans, an individual with an XXY chromosomal complement will develop as a male. Okay. So the next question during development, if a cell has committed to a particular fate, it's said to be option A pluripotent, option B totipotent, option C determined, option D differentiated. And the right one is option C that is determined. So during development, if a cell has committed to a particular fate, it is said to be determined. Okay. So the next question is question number 112. And that is successful fertilization in sea urchin demands specific interaction between proteins and receptor of sperm and eggs. So in view of the above, which one of the following combinations is correct? about the success, successful fertilization in sea urchin. So the options are option A binding in acrosome and binding receptor on egg vitaline membrane that is the protein and their receptor or option B that is binding in egg membrane and binding receptor in acrosomes. Option C proteosomes sorry proteosomes on egg membranes and complex sugars on sperm membrane or option D reset on egg jelly and binding on sperm membrane. So the right answer is option A that is binding in acrosome and binding receptor on the egg vitaline membrane is the correct protein and receptor combination in case of successful fertilization in CRG. Okay. So the binding protein is a protein found in the sperm of sea urchin. It's a major component of the sperm acrosome granule. So binding is involved in the fertilization process, which is a species specific recognition of the egg by the sperm. Okay. This is the role of binding. 
so next is question number 113 so the pluripotency of the inner cell mass in mammals is maintained by a core of three transcription factors namely option a oct4 sox2 and uh, nanoc or option b that is oct4 sox2 and cdx2 or option c sox2 nanoc and cdx2 or option d that is oct4 cdx2 and nanoc so the right answer is option a that is oct4 sox2 and nanoc so the pluripotency of the inner cell mass in mammals is maintained by a core of three transcription factor namely oct4 sox2 and nanoc and here we will see pluripotency is the ability of a single cell to develop into all cells of the adult body so this include the three primary germ cell layers of the early embryo as well as the somatic lineage of of the adult organism okay so next is question number 114 so the behavior of young ducks following their mother is as option a imprinting option b innate behavior option c habituation or option d mimicry and the right one is option a that is imprinting so the behavior of young ducks following their mother is as imprinting this is known as imprinting so imprinting is a behavioral trait in some animals that involves forming a close bond with the first animal they see after their birth so their bond can be with their parents or a substitute but they have close bond with the first person or first animal they see after their birth that is known as imprinting so the next is question number 115 that is the term pedomorphosis refers to option a accelerated reproductive development as compared to somatic development option b a transient stage in the development event option c two independent structure resembling each other yet performing different functions or option d a form of mimicry so the right one is the option a that is a uh, accelerated reproductive development as compared to somatic development that is known as pseudomorphosis and this is a phenotypic change that involves sorry this is a phylogenetic change that involves the retention of juvenile trait by an adult so this word means child form and a pseudomorphic change pedio, sorry pedomorphic change is any evolutionary change in the development of an organism that generate an adult with a child's form <coughs> okay so the next one is question number 116 what is the role of the notochord during organogenesis in a vertebrate embryo and the options are option a signaling the development of placenta option b in induction of neural neuronal plate formation option c stimulation of the umbilical cord formation or option d suppression of the development of extra embryonic membranes and the right one is option b that is induction of neural plate formation so what is the role of the notochord during organogenesis in vertebrate embryo that is induction of neural plate formation that is the role and a notochord is a flexible rod like structure that appears in the embryo of all chordates it is the primitive beginning of the backbone okay so the next one is option question number 117 which one of the following developmental processes in mammals is more dependent on cellular movements and the options are option a pattern formation option b morphogenesis option c cell differentiation option d growth and the right one is option b this morphogenesis so morphogenesis is the developmental process in mammals is more dependent on cellular movement okay so next one is question number 118 during development of which one of the following organisms bilateral 
मेरोब्लास्टिक क्लीवेज इज फाउंड एंड ऑप्शन सर ऑप्शन ए मोलास्का ऑप्शन बी फिश ऑप्शन सी बर्ड और ऑप्शन डी एम्फीबियर सो वेर वी कैन सी बायोलेट्रियल मेरोब्लास्टिक क्लीवेज एंड द राइट वन इज ऑप्शन ए दट इज मोलासिस और मोलास्का सो हियर बायोलेटरियल मेरोब्लास्टिक क्लीवेज इज अ टाइप ऑफ इनकम्प्लीट सेल क्लीवेज इन दिस प्रोसेस अ सेल split into two equal parts but the cleavage is incomplete so the blastomeres remain partially connected so meroblastic cleavage occurs in eggs with a lot of yolk in this eggs the cytoplasm divides but not the yolk so this cause unequal mitotic division understand so the next one is question number 119 so which protein secreted by the amphibian organizer induces neural tissue formation by inhibiting bone morphogenetic protein and the options are option a beta catenin option b nogin option c dikof uh, or option d dishevelled and the right answer is option b that is nogin so this nogin protein secreted by the amphibian organizer induces neural tissue formation by inhibiting bone morphogenetic protein so here nogin also known as nog protein it is a protein that helps develop many body tissues including muscle nerve tissue bone and nogin is an extracellular cystine knot protein that play a key role in vertebrate dorsal ventral patterning it binds and inhibit a inhibit the activity of bone morphogenetic proteins okay so the last question of this video it is during development of embryos in plants pin protein involved in option a establishment of auxin gradients option b regulation of gene expression option c induction of programmed cell death or option d it is induction of cell division so which one is the role of pin protein and the right answer is option a that is establishment of auxin gradient so here during development of embryos in plants pin protein involved in establishment of auxin gradient and this pin proteins are integral membrane protein in plants that transport the hormone auxin across the membrane okay so these are all 20 questions of this part 6 video on developmental biology so thank you for watching this video